Talk with Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Crystal Palace underage player, now after signing a fresh new contract, and Republic of Ireland under 21 international Jake O'Brien. I suppose, Jake, the big news for you this week you signed a new contract. It's a three year contract with Crystal Palace. Originally, you went over, um, I th- it was on an alone deal from Cork City. You impressed so much that now, yeah, I think, did you get a deal before this and then another deal on top of that? Uh, yeah, so it was a, a loan. It was a loan with the option to buy. Okay. And within a few weeks, then they opted to buy. And uh, yeah, no, I'm delighted to get it over the line now. How did you find it kind of going over? Was it daunting or anything like that? Because it seemed as though you hit the ground running. And I know um, I'm at, there's names that are escape me there now. He's with Ireland. He's the, uh, he's the coach there. Uh, analysis. Stephen Stephen Rice. Yeah. Stephen Rice. Sorry, it went completely on my head. Yeah, yeah, I know he was there when you were there. Was that a huge help for you to have yeah, him no, there? Yeah, definitely, definitely huge help. Him being Irish and bringing me over, uh, and Sean Derry. So having them two was definitely a huge help. And um, nah, couldn't have asked for more from two of them. Yeah, because it, yeah, how old are you? Twenty. Yeah, so you're quite a young lad going over there, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know you went from Cork City, who weren't initially doing quite well at the time. Yeah. And you went over there at the under twenty three set up and you just seemed to have really like you were a captain in the side and everything like that. So you must just be really enjoying yourself. Yeah, and no, I was enjoying myself. Obviously it was a bit different with the whole COVID situation yeah. and um it's kinda of just sitting back and you know, it was a bit different, but having them to help me and bring me in it was it was a lot different. But I think I adapted really well and having them too was it was a huge help. Yeah, obviously your main main goal in the future would be trying to get hit the first team now. Yeah. But I suppose how happy are you to have signed the deal now and and looking forward now you're over there full time. Yeah, no, I'm delighted, uh, especially with the in the direction the club's going, and um, it's a huge boost in the confidence boost they're going in, into the international break with a three year contract behind me. Absolutely, a bit of a spring in your step now coming yeah, into yeah, these games. Yeah. How have you found com- uh, making the step up to the twenty ones now and? You know, you're coming in, you've got legends like John O'Shea helping you now and uh, and helping you with your game. What's that been like? Yeah, no, he's a huge help, especially being a centre-back. And um, no, him helping me as well as Paddy McCarthy back in Palace, two centre-backs. So, yeah, two th- having two of them behind me is definitely a huge help. Yeah, I look around this team and I just see a lot of quality young players coming through and it's very exciting for the country I suppose you look at this, the senior international team the, the rise of young players getting the call up getting brought through by Stephen Kenny um, I, I suppose I just had Joel Bagan in here and I was just saying to him it, it, it must give you huge happiness that there's a pathway there that you know that if you do even perform at the 21s level there is a chance that you can get a call up I mean I look at Leo Connor a few years ago he's been yeah. called up a few times since as well Yeah no, definitely I think there's a pathway even with the senior squad, they're all young lads, and I think Stephen Kenny's huge trust in, in the young lads, so definitely I'll be looking towards that. Yeah, so talk to me about the two upcoming games. You've got Italy and Sweden, two huge nations, and yeah. we, we, we spoke about us having good quality players, we know they do too. So are you relishing the chance to play against them, and what would it mean to you to be, one of the, uh, be the first team to qualify for a tournament at under 21 level? Yeah, no, obviously be, there are two huge games, and uh, We've got to respect the nations they are, but at the same time we've we've big players in our in our squad and I think we can bring it to them and not just be not be on the back foot but put it to them. I think we're definitely capable of getting six points out of these two, out of these two games. Well, I, I love to hear that because I know uh, two two years ago when we actually played Italy, I remember I was talking with a couple of players. I think it was Conor Coventry at the time, and you know he did feel like when we played Italy that time it was two points dropped. And I think it's a real Irish thing, and I know you're not saying it, but there's a real Irish thing from fans' point of view. Is like we're kind of the inferior nation. We always yeah, yeah. have to fear teams. So it is refreshing to hear someone like yourself saying, yeah. you know, we we got to go put it to them as much as they're going to put it on us. Yeah, no, definitely. There are two huge nations. I think we've we've um, huge individuals in our squad, and we can we're definitely capable of getting six points out of these two games. Yeah, I think if if we can get. As you say, six points would be unbelievable, but if we can even get four yeah, out of yeah. the two games, I think that's a massive uh, positive towards qualification then. Yeah. Because these are, these are the kind of nitty-gritty games just before Christmas, you know, where you kind of look back over the qualification um, group and you're just like, well, that was the kind of one that done it for us. Yeah, no, I think we were unfortunate with the kind of results we had. Um, these, but these are two big games and I think we are we're capable of putting it to them and getting six points out of it. 
Well, definitely. I will be watching and supporting, so uh, I wish you the best of luck, and thanks yeah. very much for your time. Congratulations Thank on you. your new contract. Yeah, cheers.